Thanks for tuning in to Mad Minds TV. I'm Trey Little. This is the last week for change management, so that's a plus. Starting next week, the focus is going to be on how to sustain a successful organization and how to lead a diverse group of people. But before we get there, got to close out this course first. And because of that, five studies were reviewed and I gravitated towards a study called It was published in 2021, and the authors are, I'm paraphrasing from here, and the reference is below the video. Study examines how small business owners were mentally impacted based off the pandemic. And it does this by looking at the five stages of grief and how the business owners navigated those five stages using the Kubler-Ross model. 200 interviews were conducted and they documented the experience of these business owners from March 2020 to September of 2020. And those experiences include having to close down their businesses, getting to reopen their businesses, having to close down their businesses again, and then coming to the realization that their businesses may not survive this. The study then moves into the method, the framework, and then the findings. And the findings focus on how the business owners navigated emotionally and mentally the five stages of grief, which include denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and then acceptance. The study then provides a discussion and then conclusion. And to sum it up, each business owner had a different set of experiences based on their location. However, each business owner did experiences all stages of grief. And depending on their gender and how long they had owned that business dictated which stage was amplified over another. There was denial. Nothing needs to change. This isn't really happening. There's anger. Why are things changing? Why is this happening? Then there's bargaining with themselves and bargaining with others about why this is happening, if it needs to happen, and if things are really changing. Then there's depression. And then there's acceptance to pick things up and move on with their lives. Fortunately, the entrepreneurs in this study and most entrepreneurs tend to be very resilient. So they adapted and moved forward with their business. This is how I interpreted the study. So do me a favor, read it, and let me know if you interpreted it differently than I. If you're a small business owner struggling right now or going through changes because of the pandemic, check this paper out because it may be able to provide some insights from a mental perspective on how to maintain resiliency and move forward. Thanks again for tuning in to Mad Minds TV. And as always, stay mad, stay sharp, and be well. Thanks again, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>